This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 13th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 0.25 points or 0.06% to 408.83. Total trade volume was higher than yesterday with 191,909 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 797.7 million Khmer real or roughly 193,725 US dollars. On the main board, only two shares were up. Pestec Cambodia, which was up 2.34% or 50 real to 2,190 real per share, and CamGSM, up 0.42% or 10 real to 2,410 real per share. MJQ Education, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, and the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority were three stocks that saw their prices remain flat, while the rest of the main board was down. The biggest percentage loser of the day was Sienekville Autonomous Port, down 0.65% or 80 real to 12,140 real per share, followed by Grand Twins International, down 0.43% or 10 real to 2,300 real per share. On the growth board, DBD Engineering was up by 0.88%, while JS Land was down 0.26%. Grand Twins International recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 107,704 shares changing hands at a value of 237.5 million Khmer real or over 58,000 US dollars, which accounted for over 52% of all shares traded on June 13. Akleda Bank was second in terms of trade volume, however remained the leader in terms of trade value, with 35,175 shares changing hands at a total value of 263.6 million Khmer real or over 64,000 US dollars. In other market news, Phnom Penh Autonomous Port published its disclosure report for its unaudited revenue for the first five months of 2024, reporting a 10% increase in revenue or an increase of 14.41 million US dollars compared to the same period in 2023. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,117 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down once again to 104.81. Oil prices slipped on Thursday as investors digested that the US Federal Reserve had likely pushed back an interest rate cut to December and as US crude and fuel stocks rose. Brent crude futures were down 43 cents or 0.5% to 82.17 US dollars a barrel. Analysts say the decision by the U.S. Federal Reserve to hold interest rates steady is aimed at avoiding a recession. However, higher borrowing costs tend to dampen economic growth and can, by extension, limit oil demand. Gold prices also fell following the same U.S. Federal Reserve policy meeting, with spot gold down 0.4% at $2,313.92 US dollars per ounce and U.S. gold futures falling 1.1% to $2,329.5 US dollars. S&P 500 futures rose Thursday after the broad market index closed above 5,400 for the first time, following the Federal Reserve's latest interest rate decision and a May consumer inflation print that came in cooler than expected. S&P 500 futures and Nasdaq 100 futures climbed 0.1% and 0.5% respectively, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average futures fell 121 points or by 0.3%. This was Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 13th.